What is up? Turtle here coming at you with some more Darkness Ablaze. Today we're not opening a booster box, we're opening up those double packs. And to be honest, this is the thing I was most excited to start cracking. It comes with a Darkness Ablaze and a Sword and Shield, which, you know, Sword and Shield, why are people, or why am I so excited about it? I'm primarily looking for some secret rare quick balls. Obviously, we got the Gold Zacian and Zamazenta as well, we can find, uh, you know, plus some research in Marnie. But uh, quick balls are the, my primary objective. Darkest Blaze, I was looking for that Crobat and the Charizard V Max. This is a break for our patron T. Uh, he picked a 10 set of these, sets 40 packs or uh, 20 packs, <laughs> excuse me, for $30. He ordered a couple of them, so we're going to start with 10, and we'll do 10 in the next video. If you guys want to get in on these breaks, check out the Patreon page down below if you can pick these up at that low price of $30 for a pack of 10. Uh, I'm going to start by cracking these. I feel like it'll take a little bit of time. We'll probably do some fast-forward action. Here we go. Alright, so openings wasn't too bad. Uh, it seems like if you can pull this off like pretty thinly and then you can just rip off the, the whole back and then from there it's not too bad. I imagine by the time we finish all these breaks we'll get pretty good at it. But yeah, for the price point, especially, you know, $30 for a set of 10, that's uh, 20 packs all together. You can do the simple math as far as what the price is per pack. So uh, yeah, really excited about this. This is the first time they've had a product like this. I kind of doubt they'll continue to do this in the future. I wonder if, you know, based on how Rebel Clash went, how, you know, the, uh, the seasonal sets or like the offsets, I don't know what to call them, like kind of like Hidden Fates and such, have, with how well they've been doing. Why does this feel like there's one missing? We got... Is there a Sword and Shield? There we go. How the Hidden Fates, those kind of sets, Champion's Path they're doing, and those are just really popular. Maybe they weren't expecting Darkness of Blades to do quite as well, so they just figured they'll boost it with these kind of products. I have no idea. But let's begin. But right, we'll do some Darkness of Blades first. That's probably what people are primarily here to see. And uh, so we haven't found any Crobats yet, haven't found any Charizard Vs, but we have been getting Secret Rares. Which, uh, yeah, that's how hard the, that's where the bar was for myself, but now that we've gotten a couple... We'll take a look at the commons for a couple packs, but then we're going to skip right to the uncommons and the the uh, rare slots. So we need to get a fire special energy, not too crazy. I think it's just plus 20 HP. T-Tar, do like that art. And so this is not a sealed booster box, obviously. So which means the pull rates could be all over the place. We'll have to play it by ear, and over time we'll kind of see how these packs do. But I have a feeling it's just going to be like an ETB, so kind of like, let's just consider this we're opening, you know what, an ETB and two, two and a half ETBs worth of packs. And usually for those, like, only getting like one ultra rare or better is, feels about, you know, what you might expect. Two, and I consider it a good opening. Obviously, zero is a dud of a box, or dud of an ETB. All right, so now we're skipping the commons. Go right to the Soul Rock into Galarian Darmanitan. Pretty slow start for this. For this break. And uh, T, thanks so much for the support here on Patreon. And again, if you guys want to get into some of these breaks, check out the Patreon page. Link in the description, as always. We got a Combuskin, and so far I feel like we're doing pretty good. Darkness Ablaze for ourselves. We pulled a Secret Rare Rose, and then for our patron Steve, we actually pulled, got him a booster box with double Secret Rare. If you haven't checked out that video, I recommend you do. It was a live opening, and so far things are not panning out for the Darkness Ablaze packs. Ooh, reverse turbo patch. I think as far as secret rare, this is the one I want the most. Turbo per turbo patch, gold turbo patch. And uh, you know, let's uh maybe we need to take a breather. Let's go into some sword and shield. That was a rough start. First five packs, 
only we have a reverse turbo patch to show for it. Turbo patch, I feel like, you know, not... I'm not sure how I feel about the card. Uh, anytime there's a coin flip involved, I'm not super crazy about. Krabby into Primate Wisdom or Ranguru, alright. I feel like, uh, so they do have like this new concept of non-V cards that are getting like a secret rarity. So like Rillaboom, for example, the uh, Voltage Beat Rillaboom, the Frost Moth, for example, Galarian Berserker, and I feel like Oranguru would make a great one. I feel like he's in a lot of decks, has some really cool synergies with Zacian, some synergies with Mewtwo, There's a lot of potential there. But yeah, so far, oh, both sides of these, these uh, bonus packs, blisters, nothing good. We have to grab something extra for T for this opening. Can't uh, have a complete bust of a break. Come on, let's step it up. Find something shiny, something gold. Maybe a Snorlax. I think he's a big fan of those. Air Balloon, Pokey Kid, Rosalia. Oh boy, all right, so far these double packs not looking too hot. Let's do one more of these, then we'll go back to Darkness Ablaze. But I hope everyone's having a good day. And if you do play the online game and you are looking for some Darkness Ablaze codes or packs, uh, join our Twitch streams. We stream at least twice a week, PTCGO, and we give away packs throughout our streams, usually in the form of playing some marbles, which is fun. We started doing this uh, Stream Raiders as well, where you can win packs. And of course, we do our special sub-only giveaways. Huge shout out to my subs on Twitch. Alright, so far this is like, the ratio is terrible. What, the two, two nice uncommons, but that's about it, come on. Yeah, Darkness of Blaze has been out just for a little bit. We'll probably do a Pokemon in the near future just to see how things are landing. You know, like numbers for, let's say like the first week, I feel like aren't really, don't really mean that much. And, uh, you know, with no real events going on, I feel like everything is kind of, uh, everything kind of has a bit of an asterisk next to it, unless it's like a collector's item like Charizard, for example. But at least all like the competitive cards. Bird Keeper, interesting card. I kind of like it. Rare Fossil Reverse. And then a Mimikyu. Your opponent's bench Pokemon cannot be healed. Maybe that will become relevant one day. Oh, two Dark as a Blaze left. Might have to grab a couple extra. <laughs> For T, this is, this is rough. But yeah, as excited as I was for these double packs, what is happening? Mr. Rhyme, once on your turn, you may switch one of your opponent's face down prize cards to the top card of their deck. Oh, so it's kind of like the Detective Pichu, Mr. Mr. Mime, but you're doing it to your opponent. I guess it's a counter to Combo Zacium, but a stage one just for that matchup, that doesn't really feel worth it. Cool card though. I'm trying to think of any other reason that would be useful. Let's see, you put something on the top of their deck that they, I don't know, like Oranguru to counter to Oranguru, maybe? Nah, that's pretty weak. Alright, Last Darkness, a Blaze pack. Stravia into a Blaziken. That art so familiar. Alright, unless Sword and Shield comes in clutch here, we're gonna have to grab something extra for tea. Uh, give me something gold. Hyper Potion, TBL Grunt. Ah, there's that art with uh, Hitmonchan in the background and vice versa for him. A Zamazenta V is now Zamazenta's time to shine. Um, might be pretty good if, you know, Senta Scorch becomes really strong. I gotta grab my sleeves in a second. Oh, we finally got our first hit, and it was out of the Sword and Shield pack. Yeah, at least one or two more. If not, we'll grab something extra. 
a Whimsicott. Never really seen this used, but Cotton Ride does sound like a lot of fun. Indeedy. So on Pookie Beach that there's like a Indeedy alternate art that was in Chinese, I think. It looked pretty cool. But we're finally starting to get some hits. Not, not the uh, secret rares we're looking for. And if it's not going to be a secret rare, I think we'd rather get our hits out of Darkness Ablaze. Metal Saucer, always a good card. Ooh, Reverse Quick Ball, very nice. And that is the rare. <laughs> Two packs remaining. All right, let's see, Evo Incense. Kind of uh, thought the card would be a little bit better. Seems like Pokecom is probably the more uh, consistent route. All right, last pack. T, thank you so much for the support here on Patreon. And yeah, first crack at these double packs was not very successful, just a nine tails. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so we're gonna get two more for, for T, uh, just to make sure hopefully we get a better opening than just these two hits. Uh, a couple of people asked me, every once in a while people ask like, what does a case look like? So this is a kind of like inner case of the double packs. And so a full case has 144 and there's six inner cases. So each one of these, I believe the, the math is right, should have 24 of the double pack blisters in here. So we'll grab two more. And yeah, seems about right. We'll grab these two and let's do it. All right, we're starting Sword and Shield this time, because I guess the hits kind of came late in the opening, so we'll wrap up with Darkness Ablaze. That, that makes sense, right? That logic, sound logic right there. All right, we're in like overtime, I suppose, for lack of a better word. We got a Clay Doll, interesting card. Um, you know, if there could attack for, uh, Attack for weakness, it's definitely going to knock something out with that explosion. We got a more Peko. Ooh, very warped card. What's up with that? Uh, back looks fine. Maybe they got like a weird print line over there. But interesting with the curling. I only can think of like these packs have just been sitting around for quite a while. Alright, so we got our third hit of the opening. But yeah, we'll probably have this as a regular thing for our breaks. If it's a complete bust for our patron, we'll grab a couple extra packs for them. Nine tails again. All right, dark as a blade. Let's get something from these. So, so far this first double pack blister opening wasn't that strong, but I still have, I'm still optimistic about this product. Let's see, we got Agron. This is the first time I've seen him in pretty epic art. Uh, sturdy. This Pokemon has full HP and would be knocked out from attack. All right, so it basically can't be one shot. It is a stage two. Attack only does 160. I do kind of like that ability. Um, I don't know. If it wasn't a stage two and like, all right, you can't, you know, one shot it with Scent Scorch. That's not too bad. All right, last pack. Dark as a blaze, tough not to crack with these double blister, double pack blisters. But T, thank you so much for the support. And we got another break for you in the near future. Hopefully we can do a little bit better at least. Pulte guys, Soul Rock, Kabu, a Swana. And then just a Delk. This, this art is definitely reused, right? Definitely recycled art, never a fan to see that. All right, hopefully we can do better for our Patreon T next time. But either way, T, thank you so much for the support here on Patreon. Um, yeah, if you do enjoy the video, definitely like and subscribe for future videos. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.